this is a review of the topics we've done this week. We've got the sine rule, the cosine rule, and finding the area of a triangle using half a b sine c. So let's take a look at these first questions. So we've got find the value of x. So we're finding a length and we've got a triangle. So we need to know, is it the sine rule or the cosine rule we're using? We haven't got a right angle, so we know it's not going to be Pythagoras or our Sokotoa. So if we're using the sine rule, we have opposites. So do we have opposites here? We've got x opposite 33 degrees and 3.5 opposite 50. So we do have opposites. So we're going to use the sine rule and we're finding a length. So we have the lengths on top. So a over sine a equals b over sine b. So x can be our little a. Opposite that is big A. The other length is little b. Opposite that is big B. The lengths are always the little ones. The angles are always the big ones. The ones that go with sine are always the angles. So substituting in, we have x over sine 33 equals 3.5 over sine 50. To get x by itself, we multiply both sides by sine 33. So x equals 3.5 over sine 50 times sine 33. And we just have to type this into the calculator. So let's type it straight in, so fraction button. 3.5 over sine 50 times sine 33. So we've got our answer and to two decimal places, that's 2.49 and it's in centimeters. So it's 2.49 centimeters to two decimal places. Okay, one for you to try, so pause the video and give it a go. So we have opposites. We've got x opposite 99 degrees. We've got 5.1 opposite 55 degrees. So we're using the sine rule. We're finding a length, so the lengths are going on top. So we're going to have, if we labelled it, we could have little a big A, little b big B. And we're going to have x over sine 99 is equal to 5.1 over sine 55. And to get x by itself, multiply both sides by sine 99. So x is 5.1 over sine 55 times sine 99. And we type that in to our calculator, 5.1 over sine 55 times sine 99. So again to two decimal places, this is 6.15 and it's in meters. So it's 6.15 meters to two decimal places. Okay, next up. So find the size of angle ABC. ABC. A to B to C. So that's angle X as I've drawn it. Now, do we have opposites? We do have opposites. So X, our angle X is opposite 6. Our angle 88 is opposite 10. So we've got opposites, so we can use the sine rule. This time we're working out an angle, so we're going to put the angles on top. So that means we've got sine A over A equals sine B over B. 
and labeling so big a will be our x opposite little a big b will be our other angle and little b will be its opposite so substituting in sine x over its opposite which is 6 is equal to sine 88 over its opposite which is 10 we want sine x by itself so let's multiply both sides by 6 sine x equals sine 88 over 10 times 6 we will type that in the calculator so sine 88 over 10 times 6 so that's 0 0.599 and so on so sine x equals 0 0.599 and so on but we don't want sine x we want x and to get sine away from x we shift sine so on our calculator shift sine the answer and that's 36.84 36.84 it's in degrees and it's the two decimal places again okay one for you to try so pause the video and give it a go we have opposites so we are using the sine rule again Big A will be X, its opposite will be little a, big B will be our other angle, and its opposite will be little b. So we can say that sine X over 7.6 is equal to sine 95 over 9.7. Let's multiply both sides by 7.6 to find sine X. So sine 95 over 9.7 times 7.6 and we'll type that in the calculator to find out what sine x is. So sine x is 0 0.780 and so on. But we didn't want sine x, we want x. So we're going to shift sign the answer to get x by itself. And that's 51.31 to two decimal places. Okay, next up. So find the value of x. x is a length. This time, we don't have opposites. There's only one angle involved in this question. But we do have two lengths and the angle between them. So when we have two lengths and the angle between them, we can use the cosine rule. So the cosine rule says a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. And how do we label it? So our angle, we've only got one angle, that's big A. Opposite big A is little a. And the other two, in either way, either way round, are B and C. So we can substitute this in. So that is x squared equals 10 squared plus 12 squared minus 2 times 10 times 12 cos 32 and we can type this whole right side into the calculator and that will tell us what x squared is so 10 squared plus 12 squared minus 2 times 10 times 12 cos 32 so x squared is 40.46 and so on x squared is 40.46 and so on but we don't want x squared we want x so to get rid of a squared we square root so square root the answer 
and to two decimal places, that's 6.36. So 6.36 centimeters to two decimal places. Okay, one for you to try. So pause the video and give it a go. Find the length of BC. So BC, the length B to C, I'm going to label as X. And again, it's a cosine rule question. We've got two lengths and the angle between them and we're finding the other length. So our angle's big A, opposite big A's little a, and the other two are B and C, either way around. So substituting in to our cosine rule, that's x squared equals 7 squared plus 12 squared minus 2 times 7 times 12 cos 49. So let's type that into the calculator. The whole right side, so 7 squared plus 12 squared minus 2 times 7 times 12 cos 49. So x squared is 82.78 and so on. But that's x squared. We want x. So we need to square root the answer. And that's 9.10 to two decimal places. 9.10 is in centimeters to two decimal places. And the next one. So we're working out the size of an angle. BAC to start with, BAC. B to A to C. And we know all three lengths, so we're going to use the cosine rule. So when we know all three lengths, we can work out any of the angles using the cosine rule. And the rearranged cosine rule says cos A equals B squared plus C squared minus A squared over 2BC. So big A is going to be our angle. Opposite big A is little a, and the other two are b and c. So let's substitute in cos x equals 11 squared plus 6 squared minus 9.5 squared over 2 times 11 times 6. So we can type that into the calculator. So fraction button, 11 squared plus 6 squared minus 9.5 squared over 2 times 11 times 6. So we've got 0 0.505 and so on. So cos x equals 0 0.505 and so on. We want to get cos away from x, so to do that we shift cos, shift cos the answer, and we've got 59.62. So x is 59.62 degrees to two decimal places. And one of these for you to try, so work out the size of angle ABC. And again, we're going to use our cosine rule. Big A is the angle, opposite big A is little a, and the other two are B and C. So we're going to substitute in to our rearranged cosine rule. So cos x is equal to 12 squared plus 6 squared minus 9 squared over 2 times 12 times 6. So in the calculator, let's type in 12 squared plus 6 squared minus 9 squared over 2 times 12 times 6. 
So we've got 11 sixteenths. I'll leave it at that. So cos x is 11 sixteenths. And to get x by itself, we're going to shift cos. So shift cos the answer. And that's 46.57. 46.57 degrees to two decimal places. And the last one up, finding the area of a triangle. So when we don't know the perpendicular height of a triangle, we can use the formula half AB sine C. Half AB sine C to work out the area so work out the area of triangle ABC. Big C is going to be the angle. And the two lengths next to it are called A and B. So when we use half AB sine C, we're looking for an angle and the two lengths next to them, or two lengths and the angle between them, much like the cosine rule. And let's substitute this in. So we've got half, so the area is half times A times B times sine 94. And we just type that into the calculator. So half times 4.9 times 7.2 sine 94. So to two decimal places, we've got 17.60. So 17.60. Our lengths are given in metres, so area will be metres squared, and it's to two decimal places. And one for you to try. So pause the video and give it a go. So again, we're working out the area. We're going to use half a b sine c. Big C is going to be our angle. And the two lengths next to the angle C are a and b. So the area will, will be half times 8 times 10.2 sine 34. So half times 8 times 10.2 sine 34, 22.82. So it's 22.82. The lengths are in meters, so the area will be in meters squared, and that's the two decimal places. So that was week three review. There is an assessment available which will be in the description on YouTube or on the bottom of the page if you're watching on the Maths Genie website.